Information in the Jimmy Haslam investigation. Haslam is now admitting that hundreds of trucking companies were shortchanged when it came to a fuel rebate program. As News Channel 5's chief investigator Ron Regan reports, while Haslam is downplaying the allegations against his company, top trucking executives aren't too satisfied with his reassurances. While the FBI continues its investigation into Haslam's company in Knoxville, Jimmy Haslam came here to Indianapolis to plead his case with truckers. Were you aware and did you participate in any way? Yeah, absolutely not. I will say that again, absolutely not. Haslam continued to insist he knew nothing of alleged cheating of fuel rebates, but he admitted he has already identified hundreds of companies who were shortchanged. It looks like, and we're three weeks into our investigation, that approximately 250 of those manual rebate companies had had some type of adjustment. That doesn't mean it was wrong, but it looks to us like some adjustments were made to the benefit of our company and to the detriment of the trucking company. Haslam spoke to hundreds of trucking company owners who came away with a mixed reaction. There could be some doubts there. It would be hard to believe that he didn't know right. something about right. it. Do you believe that Mr. Haslam could have been unaware of all of this? I do. I mean, you know, he has 5,000 customers. The president of the nation's largest trade association representing trucking companies admits Haslam has a lot ahead of him. This is, a, is one of those violations of trust that it will take a while to, to rebuild. It's going to take a while to satisfy people's uh, uh, different emotions. Meanwhile, all eyes are on how all of this could affect ownership of the Cleveland Browns. This is a blip, and it may be a substantial blip, but it in no way jeopardizes our ownership of the Browns, number one, or our commitment to the Browns. In addition, some trucking companies suing Haslam have now hired, as we first reported, former FBI Director Louis Free and his group of independent investigators to look into allegations of cheating. In Indianapolis, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.